Hi there hotties! We have a fun tutorial for you today. We're talking all about GIFs. GIFs are a fun and interactive element that are a great addition to your brand. The possibilities of what you can create and communicate with a GIF are really tied to how big your imagination is. So let's dive in and get creative! For this tutorial, I'll be going over the basics of the behind the scenes of GIF making in Photoshop, how to create a text clipping mask, how to animate your GIF, and then how to save and upload your GIF depending on what platform you plan to share it on. So to get started, I'm going to create a new document in Photoshop. You always want to keep in mind the end result from the beginning because this will keep the quality of your GIF at its highest. I'm going with the standard square Instagram size, 1080 by 1080 pixels. For web, you'll want your resolution to be 72 and your color mode to be RGB. Now that I have my document all set up to go, the best way to create a successful GIF is to think of your animation in terms of layers. So each slide of your animation should be on its own layer. So in my first frame, I just want a floral background image, so I'm going to pick this gorgeous image from Hot Stock's Pink and Red Florals collection and resize it to cover the canvas. Now that I have my first frame finished, I'm going to create another layer with text. I'm picking a bolder, thicker typeface because I want the font to still be legible once I've created the clipping mask. Thin cursive fonts don't really work well because there's not much space in the letters, so they end up getting lost in the image that you've clipped it to. So now for the clipping mask. Whatever element you want to be clipped into a shape or font or whatever it may be, has to be on top in the layer panel. I need to duplicate the background and then put that above my text because I need it on its own layer as it will be in a different frame in the GIF. Okay, so to create your floral filled text, all you need to do is right click on the image layer and select create clipping mask and voila! You can still resize or reposition the image within the text. Just make sure you have the image layer selected. Once I'm happy with my display font and clipping mask placement, I'll go on and also add our website's URL at the bottom. Okay, so now I have all the pieces of my puzzle. I just need to put them together, which Photoshop makes it super easy to do. You're going to need the timeline visible. You can bring this option up by going to your top toolbar, clicking on Window, and then Timeline. Next, press Create Frame Animation. The first frame that Photoshop creates will include all the elements in your document that are visible. So this is why it's super important to keep elements on their own layers. My first frame should just be the floral image, so I'm going to go to my layers panel and hide all of the other layers that I don't want just yet. To create the second frame, go to the bottom toolbar of the timeline window and select duplicate selected frames, and then repeat what you did with the first frame hiding what you don't want, and making visible what you want in your second frame, which for me is the text and the URL. Then you'll need to decide how long you want each frame to play for before it switches to the next frame. I'm going to go with 1 second for the first and 5 seconds for the second, but this often takes a bit of playing around to get that smooth transition that you want. Go ahead and press play to see your GIF in action. Once you're happy with your GIF and ready to share it with your followers, you can go ahead and either save your creation as a GIF or a video. The GIF format is compatible with websites, whereas Instagram will only upload an MP4 video format. To save as a GIF, go to the top toolbar, select File, Export, Save for Web, and then make sure GIF file format is selected. Here you can also preview it for the web, or choose how long you want your GIF to loop and restart playing. Forever, once, or a specific number of times. For the MP4 format, again go to File, Export, but select Render Video this time. Now you're all set! GIFs are simple yet eye-catching elements that can bring attention to promotions, new content, or just the personality of your brand. 
The steps we've shown you here can work for any type of image or text that you want to share. So go ahead and play around to create GIFs anytime you want to create a unique visual for your brand.